to tell time we all have uh, electronic devices and pretty much uh, tells us it's, it's 10.05 right now and for sunrise we have to know what time the sun rises and sets so if you go to your weather channels uh, like if you get an iPhone if you go to weather it tells you um, generally about what time sunrise is and I think it's about 5.30 in the morning here I'll tell you here in a second uh, sunrise is at 5.30 so 5.30 we know that is a set time that's when the sun is starting to appear that's that's uh, going to be important for us to, uh, to tell time when the sun rises what everybody's understanding in a, in a compass is 360 degrees it's set up in uh, uh, 12 degree increments on the um, compass and um, each 12 degrees is one hour of time that's really important to know. So if sun rises at 5:30, and it's 6:30 in the morning, that 12 or 15 degrees is going to be real important to us when we work with our company. So if the sun's been up three hours, we we got uh, 45 degrees. If the sun's been up two hours, we got uh, 30 degrees. So you guys see how that's important to us, how to link the time. Now the tell time. We have to have a horizon. It's going to be kind of difficult because we got hilly areas. If you're down on the bottom and need to wait for sun to rise, you'll probably be screwed for the first three hours. But we're on top of a hill. We generally know the sun is right there. And we know north is here. Sun rose over here and is there now. If you take your fingers, this is 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour. Put your hand on the horizon, four hours. Raise it and count up to the sun. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six. Um, the sun has been up six hours already, and the sun rised at 5:30. Well, what is it? Uh, 10, 10, 10 after 10. So 5:30 times six or. Uh, six five times uh if we have six hands it's, it'd be six uh, uh 15 degrees so we have 15 30 45 60 75 75 degrees so 75 degrees right now will be important for us on our compasses if you take this um compass and put your uh it on the area where we think north is and then we have to put this this degree on uh, see where my 15 is here 30 degrees 45 60 75 90 that's the area of the compass that we're going to be able to tell our, what time it is so I wasn't really prepared I have to get us a piece of string to add to our, our compasses here now Everybody has a phone, everybody has a compass. Pull your compasses out or your phones out and get an idea where north is. My, mine's telling me north is this way, right towards uh, the B tree right there. And so due east is where this big tree is right here. So that's where sun rose right here. If we're, if we we're gonna take the reading from where I'm standing, that's the, that tree right there is east and the V is north. Now, what I'm teaching you guys is, once you get used to learn how to do this, you won't need to know uh, exactly what time it is, because everybody has a clock. But if you don't have a clock or any kind of a watch or anything, knowing how to count your fingers will get you uh, your time for you. Knowing knowing that the sun rose at uh, 5.30. Well, knowing the sun rose at 5.30, we have six hands, so that's six degrees. That's uh, 75 degrees. Um, it'll be it'll be 90 degrees. Pardon me. Um, it's 10 something right now, and you said so. Six hours plus five plus uh, a little later. Is that kind of the daylight savings time? It, it probably is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's accurate. Because we add yeah we add by exactly one hour because of BST. Yeah. Cool. Well we'll we'll add that we'll figure that in when we once we get going. Okay. But to if, if we know east is here, and you guys don't have any idea what time it is, and, and we don't know where north is, so we, we put our, sh our right shoulder on east. We take our, our sheet here, and uh, 
one of these compasses with the stem here, put it on north, and we got right now, right at uh, almost due west. The, the needle is pointing almost due west, so it's pointing at north. Um, okay, having the sundial set on the due north, and, and I got east set, the sun is almost directly pointing due west with my shadow. So that gives us a 90 degree on our fingers. So that, so that tells us um, where, where our fix is, is due west uh, for the shadow. If you put a, your string on due west and you walk through the woods and say you need a heading of say you need to go east. If you keep your shadow on due west all the time uh, you, you know that that is east walking and you can maintain a compass heading with just the sunlight on your board as long as it stays right up to W. Now you got to remember every hour the sun moves in the sky and so it's going to change our um, shadow. It's going to change it uh, 15 degrees each hour. So as we're walking you know our sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Our shadow is going to move towards the west more. <coughs> and uh, with that happening in an hour it would be uh, uh, just a 15 degrees south of, of west so that's how you know where your your north is all the time with the shadow each hour you just change your position on the shadow 15 degrees and it'll keep you due north but it's all based on where the sun is in the sky and um, we, we know that uh, if we put a stick in the ground and we can uh, Mark it where our first hour is. We'll see that where uh, the sun is right now. In, in say 15 20 minutes, the shadow's going to move. It'll create an arc that we can be able to uh, determine where is uh, east and west on the ground. So we'll, we'll mark this here in a little bit. The key of this is, is to try to determine. Uh, um, what time it is without without having a clock? If, uh, if we wanted to take a reading on um, the sun, and we put our edge of our board towards the sun where the east is, and measure it, Getting a reading of 60. So 530, 6:30, 7:30, 10:30. That's that's you add up your 15 degrees from the time the sun rose. That gives you an, a, a, a timeline of what time it is in the woods without a clock. So put your edge of the board on the sun. Put your string down through the center, wherever that degree is for the sun. Five degrees. So 530, 630, 730, 830, 930, 1030. That's how it tells you what time it is in the woods. Six, six fingers up. Now, um, when you figure out your degrees here, and you know that the shadows all the time in that hour line is going to be at there, we keep that on uh, uh, the sunlight on that with your stem up, you always know where north is walking through the woods. And, you'll, and then if you get to head east, we know north is right there, we, we head in that direction. If we gotta go west, we know we gotta head in that direction. So that's how the Vikings did, navigated on the waterways. This is a, a method that Dave Tor uh, Canterbury teaches and he's got multiple videos on it. I encourage everybody to watch it. Um, he's, he's perfected a little bit. Um, he doesn't have a sundial like this, but he's got a piece of wood that he's drawn on over the years. Uh, I wanted you guys to know that you can make this real simple. A couple of throws, as long as you've got your 12 degrees or 15 degrees of marks, you'll be able to tell what time it is and everything. So, this is a primitive method of uh, navigating. Now.